morning, Chiefs. I'm Adam. And I'm Amaya. And you are now watching the WKHS Morning Announcements. Now on to special announcements. We would like to congratulate Riley Ald on receiving the EBA Student Spotlight Award. Good job, Chief. Here are the events for the last week of Black History Month. On Monday, check out Black History and the Arts in the library during all blocks and attend trivia during lunch in room 805. On Tuesday, tune into the live From the Ville podcast during lunch. On Wednesday, check out Movie Fest featuring The Harder They Fall After School in room 205. And on Thursday, don't forget to submit your TikTok challenge. Access College Foundation will be celebrating all high school seniors being accepted into college. If you're looking for an easy way to earn a scholarship and have some fun while doing so, this is the event for you. You have to be accepted into college, whatever you're choosing is. It doesn't have to be the school that you attend. Complete the FAFSA or VASFA form and submit the permission form. Please see Mr. Coxum if you have any questions. Winter formal is Saturday, March 2nd from 7 to 10 p.m. All grade levels are encouraged to attend. Tickets are $15 and are available now through GoFan. Please see Ms. Toller or Mr. Walker if you have any questions. Washington was an influential African American leader. He was born into slavery in 1856. After the Civil War was over and he was freed, he taught himself how to read and made his way east to the Hampton Institute, a school established in Virginia to educate freedmen and their descendants, where he also worked to pay for his studies. He later attended Wayland Seminary in Washington, D.C. in 1878. And in 1881, the Hampton Institute president, Samuel C. Armstrong, recommended Washington at the age of 25 to become the first leader of Tuskegee Normal and Industrial Institute, now called Tuskegee University. The next year, Washington purchased his formal plantation and developed as the permanent site of the new campus. Under his direction, his students built the school from the ground up, making bricks and constructing classrooms. The school expanded over the decades, adding programs and departments to become the present-day Tuskegee University. He believed that providing skills was necessary to African-American advancement post-Civil War. Washington's legacy will be remembered as a dominant figure of the African-American community from 1890 to 1915, promoting advancement for African-Americans. That's all for special announcements. Now onto clubs and orgs. Our club meets during the first half of one lunch and after school from 2 to 3.30 p.m. in room 302 every other Tuesday. Upcoming meetings are March 5th and March 12th. Please see Mrs. Seforic for more details. This is the athletic schedule for this week, Chiefs. That's all for more announcements. I'm Amaya. And I'm Adam. And, and have, have an amazing day. day. <laughs>